Today in the 360 Test Kitchen, we are cooking Faye's Sweet Potato Casserole. This is my mom's recipe and takes me back to my childhood. When she served up this yummy dish, we knew the holidays were here. For this recipe, you will use your 360 four-quart stock pot and your 360 2.3-quart casserole. These sweet potatoes have already been washed, so let's pierce them with a fork and place them in your 360 four-quart stock pot. As you can see, you can get a lot in here. I'm using about three and a half pounds of sweet potatoes for this recipe. Now add one third cup of water to the pot, cover, and turn to medium heat. Cook the potatoes until you see vapor begin to escape from under the lid, which should take about five to seven minutes. Spin the lid to engage the vapor seal and immediately reduce the heat to low. You will cook these potatoes about 50 minutes or until the potatoes can be easily pierced with a fork. These are ready, so let's remove the pot from the heat and allow it to rest covered for about 10 minutes. Now let's transfer the potatoes to a baking sheet to cool off for about 10 minutes before we peel them. This just allows them to dry a little bit before they are mashed. Okay, they are ready to peel. Using a fork, tear the skin along the top and just peel the skins away from the potatoes. They are so beautifully cooked, these skins will easily come off. These potatoes will still be hot, so use caution. Now mash them with a potato masher. You will want them to be slightly chunky. Okay, this looks good, so let's stir in one stick of unsalted butter, a half a cup of loosely packed brown sugar, a half a cup of evaporated milk, and a pinch of salt. Fold everything together to melt the butter and combine the ingredients. This should make about six to seven cups of mixed sweet potatoes. Now prepare your 360 2.3 quart casserole by spraying it lightly with vegetable spray. Evenly layer one half of the sweet potato mixture into the bottom of the casserole. Then add a half of your mini marshmallows on top of the potatoes. We have a lot to put in here, so pat them down just a bit. Then spread the remainder of the sweet potatoes as your third layer. Cover the casserole and place the pan on the AmeriCraft slow cooker base that's been preheated to a setting of two and a half. Cook the casserole until everything is heated through, which will take about 30 to 40 minutes. Uncover the casserole and top it with the final layer of marshmallows. Now we want a nice crispy marshmallow on top of this, so we're going to put it in the broiler for a few minutes. When your oven is preheated, place the casserole on the center rack of the oven under the broiler. The marshmallows will toast quickly, so don't leave it unattended. You can rotate the pan to evenly toast all of the marshmallows. This looks perfect. Remove the casserole from under the broiler. You can keep it warm by setting it back on the AmeriCraft slow cooker base. Just reduce the heat to a number one level. Thanks for this recipe, Mom. This is definitely on my must-have for Thanksgiving list. It goes perfectly with turkey and dressing, so be sure to also watch those videos and view our complete recipes online at 360cookware.com.